We are honored to have you with us today, Judge Perry. On behalf of the University of South Carolina's College of Education and Museum of Education, I wish to present you with a plaque <coughs> that reads, the, United, the University of South Carolina Museum of Education Chester C. Travelstead Award for Courage in Education presented to Matthew J. Perry, Jr. in recognition of his leadership in South Carolina to further the values of integrity, intellectual spirit, justice, and stewardship, and in doing, in, in doing, allowing schools to become more compassionate, more generous, more humane, and more thoughtful. History, despite its wrenching pain, cannot be unlived, but if faced with courage, need not be lived again by Angelou. Thank you so much, Judge Perry. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for this <clears throat> wonderful and highly significant award. I very much appreciate it, and um, it uh, is such a pleasure to have an award named for such a stalwart gentleman. And uh, he really had a lot of courage to speak out as he did. I believe you said that was in 1955. Now, 1955, uh, is the year the Supreme Court made its second decision uh, in the uh, Brown versus Board of Education cases. And you know, of course, that the decision was received with uh, uh, mixed uh, reactions within our own midst. And uh, people connected with the university were not looked upon with great kindness when they had the nerve to speak out as uh, Mr. Travelstead did. And so we can all be thankful to him for the courage that he displayed. Uh, I, at that time, was a young lawyer having passed the bar just a few years before that, in 1951. <laughs> and had begun undertaking the representation of people uh, in the spirit of trying to make uh, Brown versus Board of Education meaningful within our midst. As uh, you have been told, it was my pleasure to have represented a number of people, most notably Andre Dobbins Monteith, who was the plaintiff in the uh, case against the University of South Carolina, who had denied her admission because of race. Uh, just before her case, of course, I had the uh, pleasure of representing Harvey Gant in his effort at attending Clemson University, from which he had been uh, denied uh, admission. The uh, decisions in those cases, of course, are well known, and uh, in combination they have led to the opening of the doors of all of the universities, schools of higher learning in South Carolina. Indeed, after uh, the last of the cases, Monteith versus the university, the uh, officials of the state communicated through the then Attorney General to me that you can now let it be known that South Carolina will no longer resist uh, on racial grounds the applications of those who are otherwise qualified for admission into our uh, uh, university systems. And so we are we are very pleased that these were a very important accomplishments in our state. And uh, they've helped us along the way. And so once again, it's certainly a, a great pleasure for me. I'm, I'm grateful for this special award that you have chosen to give me. Thank you very much. <laughs> 